And welcome back to part six of What If Naruto Had the Rin and Gone. As always, just a little house cleaning before we uh, be, uh, get into it. Um, first off, last time, Naruto What If, Naruto and Sasuke and Hinata as Team Seven had completed their train their test with Kakashi. Now, um, there really isn't much to address, actually, in, for this housekeeping, except for, just to address it again, I don't intend to be giving Naruto a special ability with the Rin and Gone. And that comes from the fact that I don't know if there's enough evidence to suggest that the Renegon would naturally, you know, uh, activated, gives the user a special ability. Sasuke has a special ability with his, but he has an evolved Renegon that wasn't even naturally given, that wasn't even naturally, like, born. If he had, if he had a natural Renegon, it would have it in both eyes. It was, um, you know, Hageroma himself who activated it through, you know, the fact that he was an in reincarnation of one of his sons. And he only has it in one eye, and it's it's an involved written gun. So he has the access to the abilities and a dimensional hopping ability, but that's it. So I don't I can't include that. Madara, we actually don't know if I, I don't think the limbo clones are part of his written gun ability. The limbo clones I think are part of more like written gun plus six paths chakra and like the ten tails and stuff like that. Uh, Kaguya doesn't actually, Kaguya, even though she has the Byakon, um. She does have a Renegon. I don't actually even know. She has so many special abilities. I don't know if you can count any of them as a Renegon ability. Um, now, someone brought up a Boruto character, but I don't watch or read Boruto at all, so that's not true. I keep up here and there, but I like I know of Naruto's new uh, Bayon. I think it's called Bayon uh, form. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, and I know what happened to Sasuke recently, which, well, that sucks. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Boruto. I don't, and it's really because I don't like the character of Boruto that, that really ruined it for me. Just reading the character and seeing the character in the last movie they did. I'm like, I don't like this kid. And if he's our lead, I don't like this kid. <laughs> anyway, now that that's out of the way. So that's, and somebody gave me a suggestion. Honestly, it's not a bad suggestion for an ability. They're like a time freeze kind of ability or a time skip ability. Um, but so for what it's worth, I'm not going outside the uh, already established Rinnegan abilities that we know everyone gets. So the six paths, the chakra rods, uh, the seventh outer path, uh, all those are going to be Joe Naruto's base abilities. With that being said, we cut now to later in the future where, you know, Team Seven has been doing their missions. And, you know, they're, uh, uh, they're you know, doing their they're hunting down Tara's like, I got targets ready. All right, ready, and go. And they try to grab, and Tara's like about to escape, and then Naruto just yells, Bancho Tenen, and just, just Hinata, and just, you and Hinata's able to, Hinata, I think, would be one of the few people who would be able to keep Tara calm, because she's a very calm person. And if she can't, she can just, just knock the cat out, because animals have chakra uh, networks, too. So I think it'd be hilarious if she actually knocked the cat out, because the cat's described oftentimes as like a demon. Um, so yeah, lost Pat Tora found, they return Tora to, uh, to the mission state, <clears throat> their owner, and they get paid for it. Now we should note the what has been happening here. Cause in the original Naruto base, it just goes, no, I'm done. I'm a real ninja and I want our ninja mission. That's not what happens here. Let's, let's be, let's be flat on honest here. Now, Kakashi certainly starts off with D rank missions to get him started, but Kakashi's also not stupid. He's helped train Naruto for many years at this point. He's uh, he, he's very much aware that Sasuke with the Renegon now is a very formidable uh, uh, individual. He now has been growing leaps and bounds. They are well beyond their uh, their power range for someone in of their age group, and Kakashi's aware of this. And it's important they get experience. So, but I do think he does is do the minimum amount of D-rank missions, which I'm pretty certain that he went above and beyond on D-rank missions because he was lazy. Uh, and then, you know, when he felt they were ready, got the minimum amount, maybe an extra one on there, they've gone and done C-rank missions. And I think now what they do is go, like, every, I don't know, five, five to ten D-ranks, they get, like, a C-rank. And now I'm not going to go into every C-rank they've done. They probably haven't done a lot. I'm going to go so far as saying they've done... Three. <clears throat> uh, three up to this point. And I imagine they're all just kind of like, you know, a little escort missions, things along those lines. Uh, it, maybe they've had to deal with some bandits, things along uh, in that, uh, things along those, uh, you know, that lay about of things. 
<laughs> that layabout of scenarios. So when we get to the whole Tazna thing, we don't get the outburst from Naruto. In fact, we don't get any outbursts. These they've been doing consecutively, consecutively, uh, D rank and C rank missions. They've got a nice balance here. It's a, it's been a good way to test their skills, build their confidence up. Um, they aren't uh, getting as they don't have that you know sudden freeze moment that like say Naruto got when he fought the Demon Rose in the original. <clears throat> so they're doing fine and. Christopher, I just heard something. Um, and um, they just happened to get the Tazna bridge building, bridge builders uh, mission next. They felt it's, uh, they felt it was, uh, the Alkai say, oh, this one seems good enough. He'll be escorting a bridge builder back to his, uh, the, his village in the mist, or a village hidden in the waves, sorry. Uh, and they're just like, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and then, then uh, what's this? Uh, and then, you know, Tazna comes in and says, what do I ask for, I ask for ninja guards, and what do I get here? Uh, it's a bunch of kids. Uh, the short one, it looks particularly stupid. Uh, well, I mean, Naruto probably, yeah, Naruto's honestly still probably in the same height range. He might be a little taller now, but he's still uh the blonde uh, maybe he's not short i think he's a little taller than hinata so i can't go with the short route in that sense but maybe just the uh, the blonde one was particularly done dumb and for all the positive changes to naruto in this i would be lying to say that his personality has changed that drastically i think he's a little harder to rile admittedly, because he's had now a lot of time to grow, learn about his power, learn the importance of the eyes, the weight, the gravity of, you know, that that kind of responsibility, all that. He's had time for that to sink in. But he's still excitable, energetic, and Naruto, let's be honest. So he's like, he's like, he's like you son of a bitch, I'll, I'll destroy you. He's like barely holding himself back, and he's like, no, Naruto, don't. So like, yeah, let, let, just let it go, let it go. It's like, he's like, because uh, they also know like Naruto could kill this man in an instant if you're not careful. Um, it's like, it's, it's okay, it's okay. She's like, he's like, rubbing his back. It's like, it's okay, you're not dumb. You're, you're, I like your blonde hair. Your blonde hair's great. It's like, oh, thanks, Hinata. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Tazuna, master bridge builder. I must be escorted back to my bridge. All that, blah, blah, blah. So we now we cut now to them leaving the village. Them, you know, get, Kakashi gives that whole explanation about the, um, you know, the other little just hidden in the, you know, the sand, the stone, the mist, the little clouds. I've always been a fan of the Cloud Village myself. They, they were always actually my favorite of the like the five great villages. Um, so they're, they're walking, and remember that the Rinnegan is capable of seeing chakra. In fact, it's capable of seeing Chakra, I think, better than the Sharingan can, but it does not have the piercing ability, the like, X-ray ability that the Byakuyan does. So Naruto immediately um, sees the puddle and immediately sees, wait, something's off. And then he, and he kind of, and because they've now gone through a couple C-rank missions, they are more than capable of, you know, kind of figuring out some code, uh, like particularly figuring out, you know, to signal each other to get their uh, you know their dojutsus activated and sure enough naruto because he's the only one who ever has his on constantly gives a brief signal to see for um sasuke and uh, hinata and kakashi would obviously notice this as well as he just um as he sees them signal and uh, he notices the puddle as well and everyone uh, they both kind of their demeanors change a little bit but they they keep talking to keep things you know uh to keep things light Obviously, the Demon Brothers pop out and try to um, try to uh, attack Akashi. I still think, by the way, he does what he does. He um, lets himself be killed. Uh, killed. He lets himself get caught by the Demon Brothers and uh, to, to see who they were going to go for. It's like, uh, and because of the, because they've been spending enough time with Kakashi and gone on some actual legitimate missions, they are aware of probably what Kakashi does. So they don't immediately they they play along. It's like no Kakashi Sensei, and then Gozu uh, was it Mizu, the Demon Brothers. Hold on, what was what's her? I know one of them like Gozuki, the Demon Brothers. Excuse me, uh, Demon Brothers, Naruto. 
Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the Demon Brothers were named Gozu and Mizu. That was it. I knew one of them was Gozu or something like that. So they get, they kind of go behind Naruto just as they uh, as they did in the original. Uh, fortunately, uh, they make a very grave error here, and they ju they just hear Shin. Uh, I was like, we got you, Shinra Tensei, and the boom just go, Poo! and they're basically flying back. They use their ch uh, their claws and their chains to like grab on. She's like, what was that? I have no idea. All of a sudden, they hear fire style, fireball jutsu, um, and you know they gotta dodge the fireball only to find kunai coming at them from uh, basically through the fire, and they are now just blocking it with their. Um, with their claws. Meanwhile, Hinata's gone and gone and protect uh, Tazna, ready and waiting in the gentle fist style. Kakashi and Nar uh, Kakashi and Naruto, Sasuke and Naruto are ready to go, and he's like, "All right, fine." And then you know they come in, but they realize they can't move, as Sasuke had again put the chain through the um, or the kunai through the chain, and in comes Naruto with a clone, just both thing coming in, and just was smacking into. Um, uh, both of the uh, the brothers, similar to Asasuke, kind of kicked them both in the head. But in this case, they're both grabbing. Like, you think a little bracket can overpower us? We're gonna, we're, we're g what, what is he doing? It's like mm, pray to path, and they just, uh, 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 boom, and they just passed out. Just, uh, huh. and Zenard's just like, whew. <laughs> It's like, well, that was well, that was fun. Kakashi Sensei, you done hiding out there? It's like, oh, spoil all the fun. Why don't you, Naruto? It's like, wow, well, these guys were able to do it after all. Um, oh, Tazna, we need to talk. Uh, you didn't tell us there were going to be ninja after you, and the same whole guilt trip and whatnot about. He's like, uh, yeah, I'll understand. Of course, if you, of course, if you let me die, my daughter will hold the. Uh, my grand support grandson, Mrs. Grand, uh, <laughs> or Mrs. Grandpa, is just like, granddad, granddad, I want my granddad, and my daughter will condemn the hidden leaf for all their actions. Well, I guess you give us no choice. <laughs> we'll have to keep protecting you. Except there's no way that would actually work. It's like, N no, you lied. You seriously? Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, you know, they get uh, told that the Demon Brothers were defeated. It's like, I'll go myself this time. Um, they are, you know, they're hanging out in the mist, and, you know, they, they're looking around, Naruto and Hinata and Sasuke, both, and none of them can really see them, like, the mist is thick. Uh, <clears throat> Naruto does, does probably burst, like, whoa, that's really amazing, Naruto, calm down, Oop, my bad. Um, so they're still, they keep walking, and unlike with Sasuke, Hinata, Sasuke, Hinata, Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura in the original, he Naruto is definitely a bit more because Naruto was aware there was actually give Naruto credit. I don't think anyone really does, or not enough people do, that he actually could tell there was someone there. He he knew that he could tell Zabuza was there, surprisingly. And he, the reason he almost hit a rabbit, but it was it, Kakashi pointed out, like, it's a Snore, it was a substitution jutsu. So Naruto was actually able to pick up without any extra abilities that someone was there. Now add on a Rinnegan, Naruto could basically be like, uh -huh. and it's like, uh, Hinata, it's like, mm? and it's like, mm. <laughs> Piek gun, and she's like, there's, and, like, and she comes like, there's someone there, and, you know, Naruto just throws a kunai, again, it turns into a rabbit, but this time we're like, oh, it's a rabbit, poor rabbit, and Kakashi's like, Hinata, and Sasuke's shining gun's already activated, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, they see the blade come down, and they just get out of the way. It's like, Kika ah, Kakashi. <clears throat> uh, uh, so, yeah, this is the great Kakashi. I get to see the Shining Gun in action. This is an honor. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, they he knows it's Zabza. So, they, he, even though he knows how strong they are, it's still an experienced Shinobi. Keep in mind, like I said, Naruto's power right now is probably somewhere to high tuning, low joning, but he severely lacks experience. So an experienced fighter would could easily take him out if they figured out his pattern, his jutsu, all that. Uh, so they get into Maji formation, and the fight with Kakashi and Zabuza goes about the same, and then, <clears throat> um, uh, and then he gets caught. Should know that. I still think Zabuza would get past both Naruto, Sasuke, and Hinata to go for Zabuza. It's like, <laughs> just, just like he did originally. He, just because we know that um, 
the Sharingan, we know that the mist was that thick. Even though he was able to see Zabaza's technique, I still think Zabaza would get the drop on him because he's just he was just that good. Now we get into the Zabaza versus Sasuke um, the, versus Naruto fight. I was like, get out of here. This this fight was over the minute I got caught. Uh, get out of here. Not a chance. And, you know, Sasuke comes in, you know, uh, he's attacking Zabasa, and Zabasa's trying to hit him, but remember, Sasuke actually has a Sharingan now. It's like, oh, so you also have a Sharingan. Wait, could that make you the last Uchiha? Uh, it's, it's like, what about a fire style, fireball jutsu? Water style, water, uh, uh, raging torrent. And then, just as, you know, the torrent's about to clash in, and wind style, get yeah, double gale bomb! Just, um, blasting the fire, because they practice probably how wind and fire complement each other, and just greasing the flames, still a lot of steam, it's like, oh, a wind user. Do, tell me, Brett, you got enough to, uh, you got enough in that, uh, arsenal of, uh, or juice of yours to take me on. It's like, I guess we'll find out, won't we? And Naruto comes in, and just, uh, Bashra Tenen! He just pulls the blade, it just, the Zabuza can feel the blade being nearly pulled out of his hands, but he holds it, like, Ugh! it's like, Ugh! and it's like, Ugh! It's, uh, well, I don't know what kind of jutsu that is, and then he just started to launch himself in Naruto, but it's not enough! And, uh, was, oh, crap! It's like, and then, art style, unwalled, just blah! It's like, Ugh! art style too? What? And a fire style, phoenix flower jutsu! You know, trying to just hit the Zabuza clone and just swats it away with his blade. Um, it's like, rrr, rrr, you know, and then Naruto's just, because he can still figure out which Zabuza is, uh, lightning style, white lightning, and just blasts right through the stone because lightning is strong against Earth, and just hits the Zabuza clone, just taking it out. It's like, ooh, <laughs> these kids of yours are pretty strong, Kakashi. And then obviously, um, uh, they. The, uh, they you know, go into the windmill shuriken, a uh, demon, a windmill shuriken, demon, of, or what was it, demon shuriken, windmill of shadow, something like that. Just, <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, oh, uh, you think your shuriken will never, never hurt me, touch me, and it's like, <clears throat> I told you, and then uh, there was another shuriken hiding in the in the uh, shadow of the first, the shadow shuriken jutsu, and then basically you know pops. I was like, I told you a shuriken would never touch me. <clears throat> And then all of a sudden, Naruto pops out from behind, just boom, Shinra Tetsu, boom, just blasts Zabuza in the back. Just, Zabuza is able to catch himself because he's holding onto a ball, which is probably anchoring him in some way, but that's actually worse. Think of it this way um, think if your hand was glued to something that wasn't going to move. Um, and there's no indicate, there's no proof to say that the water uh, prison jutsu would not have moved with Zabza if they were, this were to happen. But the implication I get is kind of that he needed to stay in one spot. Um, <clears throat> that his hand was also kind of stuck there. Think of it as if you're holding onto something and your hands just is glued to it, or at least you know um, it adhered, uh, not adhered. That's the word I'm looking for. Adhered to it. If you were suddenly hit by a giant blast of momentum and it pushes you forward and your arm just stays there it's going to either pull your arm off break your arm or all of the above and zabaza is just like Ugh! and he suddenly has to let go of the prison juice it's just so his arm doesn't break he's able to catch himself you i'll kill you it's like and naruto given zabaza's skill naruto's ability he could get in within the five seconds and naruto's just like oh crap it's like and all of a sudden just boom kakashi comes up it's like, Ugh! and it's like uh and then, you know, it's now Kakashi versus Zabza again. It's like, Naruto, good job. I was clever thinking. Get out of here. It's like, right. And, you know, he gets up and is able to like, get out of the way. <clears throat> and fortunately, Zabza, throughout this whole time, Zabza hasn't been able to uh, see the Rinnegan activated at all. He hasn't, because he hasn't been paying attention to Naruto's face that much. Uh, though, Kaku is is paying attention to Naruto from a distance. Because he's paying attention to this whole thing. Zabza and Naruto... And every once in a while, he's getting a... He can't make out what Naruto's eyes actually are, because it is from a very large distance away, but he can tell that Naruto's eyes change when he's using some certain abilities. Um, and um, so the so Naruto um, gets out of there, and then the fight finishes off with Kakashi and Zabza, in the way it does. Haku gets in the way. 
um, uh, <clears throat> or Haku gets in step said, you know, a th- you know, says thank you, all that. Naruto, I still th- does, I do think, uh, gets upset that they took his win or they took the win, but Kakashi says there are kids strong, younger than me, but stronger than you. So save it for the next opponent. We still got to get the bridge all back to his bridge. Now, I do think Kakashi doesn't faint here. I think he he, str- he um, stumbles from chakra exhaustion, but I don't think he passes out from chakra exhaustion. And the reason I say that is because if you're training someone with the Rinnegan, if you're training Naruto for so long, I think Kakashi would have been improving himself over the years. At nothing, more, If nothing else with his reserves and his chakra control, although we already know he had really good chakra control to begin with. Uh, I do think he stumbles. Like, uh, it's like, gosh, that's, I'm, I, used, I used too much chakra, unfortunately. Hold on, and then Naruto's like, oh, hold on, wait, I might be able to help you out. Hinata, um, it's like, it, did she, how can you see his reserves? Like, um, I can, and she says whatever percentage is. Naruto using the pre path just in reverse, because I, I think there's an, impl- I think I mentioned in the last one, I think there's an implication where the pre path can also give chakra, not just take it. Um... So he kind of gives them a portion of his chakra. Not a lot, because Naruto need, is also used up a decent amount of chakra. Um, but he's still, it's Naruto. So he's got, he's got chakra for days, chakra for days, chakra for days. So he gives uh, Kakashi a bit of a, a bump. And Kakashi's like, oh, oh uh, that, that was very, uh, po- uh, kind of uh, Naruto. All right. Yeah, all right, guys, let's, uh, let's get it. Uh, let's get uh, bridge builder to his bridge. And it ends with them making it to uh, it, the bridge builder's house, to Hazuna's house, and Ari, Tsunami. Um, they uh, they all are there. That's where we'll start off in the next chapter. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. So thanks for watching. Hit that bell for more notifications. See you next time, folks. Later.